What's going on guys? GeoSnowRate here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak and for those of you who might have lost hope on jailbreaks lately. Now there is a new team called Tigris that might get into this and um, this team is not a normal team of, you know, fakers that are, you know, claiming to have a jailbreak or to be able to build a jailbreak and then they disappear in two weeks. Now we're talking today about a team formed out of some real Twig developers. One of them is Antique Dev. Now this uh, guy in here is a fairly known Twig developer, although not the most known um, Twig developer, but he is known for making tweaks and he is known for, you know, knowing how to, you know, build something with Objective-C and um, there are other guys as well, I never heard of them before I have to, to mention this, uh, Ballistic Diamond, Cool Fool 245 and Nick, uh, Nick I Lols, whatever these uh, usernames are. Anyways, there are more, but they uh, didn't mention all of them in here according to this post. I'm going to link the post in the description. As you can see, uh, it got a lot of traction on the Reddit jailbreak. Uh, 2000 and whatever uh, votes in here, app votes. So it's fairly good amount of uh, up votes. People are a bit un undersized about this um, this new team. Well, they mention here that they are, uh, well, somehow inexperienced and I'm going to quote this, please note, quote, please note we are beginning this from scratch with some knowledge of C+, which is C++ actually, and somehow, uh, somewhat um, advanced knowledge of Objective-C. We don't plan on making this in two days or one week, we plan on making this stable and of course semi-untethered. At least they start with, uh, you know, something that looks much more uh, credible, with a semi-untethered. They, they do not say, we're going to build a fully untethered jailbreak that is going to jailbreak even your iPhone, iPad, iPod, iMac, your cat, your dogs and lizards and so on. No, they said uh, it's going to be something semi-untethered, they're trying, they do not promise to do it in two, two days or one week and so on, and they are at least, you know, leveling off with their own knowledge level, which is a little bit of um, C++ and somehow advanced knowledge of Objective-C and that is, you know, that is credible. Um, I do believe that they do have Objective-C knowledge, advanced Objective-C knowledge, since being a Twig developer requires you to write everything in Objective-C. And uh, even if even if you're a beginner, if you get to the point where you are able to create tweaks in Theos, you know, tweaks that are actually usable by people, that are actually meaning something, not just, you know, changing changing a toggle or something, I mean, serious tweaks, then you are on the good path, because Objective-C is definitely a hard language, programming language to learn. And of course, for granted, that doesn't make you a jailbreaker, uh, but you can learn. If you're able to learn up to that point with a little bit of motivation and with a little bit of, you know, um, desire, you get to the point where you are able to learn to exploit things. Usually a Twig developer, this is what he does, he exploits an application, he hooks into an application and changes its behavior, that's what tweaking means, you're tweaking the control center, you're, you're hacking it so, so that it actually contains buttons or, you know, styles that aren't there normally, you're injecting code into it, so it's not very, very far away from what you need to learn to do for making a jailbreak, but definitely uh, there are beginners and we shouldn't put a lot of, you know, stress on them and we shouldn't put a lot of, you know, hype on this, because it's for the moment just a... Um, just a notification that they're going to do this. Uh, it has been uh, mentioned as news by Antidiv, which is not good, because this is not news, I mean, they're just starting to do something, but they do not have any zero day for the moment. They might as well rely on what um, on what Adam Donenfield releases. Nobody says they have to build everything themselves. They can use exploits that are currently, you know, uh, private, but are going to be released by Adam Donaldfield or by um, Stefan Ezer and so on. If they have the knowledge or if they build up the knowledge, nobody says nothing about the exploits or where they come. We want a jailbreak and it doesn't really matter from where it is. So yeah, proofs uh, from my side to this guys in here, especially for Antique Dev, which is a developer I uh, personally had um, 
some interaction with, if I remember, and uh, yeah, I really hope they will do this, and I really hope they will um, come to their plan to make an, uh, a jailbreak for the iOS 11, because this is their plan to make a jailbreak for uh, the final version of the iOS 11. This is uh, actually it. Uh, if you want to, you know, stay updated on them, just go ahead and here, follow the threads. There are people who are not okay with them because they are be beginners. There are people who are very okay with them because, you know, they're experienced in tweak uh, development and they're not just a random fake... Uh, team like I don't know there was some some team in the past I can't even remember uh, GS magic I think anyways uh, there are a lot of people in here that are you know supporting them and I definitely support them I definitely support any idea that is sustained and if they really want to learn this is definitely something that's going to go good because they are already experienced in objective C and they already do parts that are part of a jailbreak like you know patching into application they just they just need to build out their of course skills in order to do some proper reverse engineering and some serious stuff that is required inside a jailbreak but anyways some good news if these guys are going to hold on it uh, they are definitely smart and they're definitely going to make it if they are uh, keeping on it and if they uh, they don't lose interest now of course for granted do not go ahead and ask for ATAs and so on because you're going to drive them away and this is not what we need anyways this is actually it guys I really hope I brought some good news for you and I really hope Antique Dev and his team are going to, to get it they are called Tigris team and um, yeah, I really hope uh, they will have uh, they they will succeed in their um, in their plan. Anyways, if you want to stay updated on anything that happens, go ahead and subscribe in here. Now, I really want to th thank you for you know 50k subscribers on this channel. It's definitely something that I never uh, that, I, that I never ever, ever thought about. I I never ever thought about you know reaching. Uh, 50k which is definitely something nice to see thank you all for subscribing anyways till the next time again subscribe to stay updated we'll keep you updated on anything that happens i'm geosnow peace out